it's not a given that our planet would have a magnetic field. The two planets flanking us, Mars and Venus, do not have one, and yet the Earth does, which is a good thing, as without one, there is a very real chance life would not have been able to arise here in the first place. Thanks to the protective cocoon of this field, deadly solar radiation is deflected away from the planet's surface, allowing things to flourish without all that radiation breaking down our DNA, causing mutations and cancers. Scientists are still trying to figure out all the particulars of why certain planets have fields and certain others don't, but the current leading theory is that the Earth's core acts as a giant dynamo. It's a principle of physics that you can use electrical fields to create magnetic ones, and vice versa. This is the principle that power plants work under. Moving a magnet through a coil of wires causes electrical current to start to flow, as that changing magnetic field exerts a force on the electrons present there. But similarly, the motion of electrons creates a magnetic field to form in perpendicular circles around the direction of motion in accordance with Faraday's law of induction. But the way this applies to the Earth's core is a delicate, complicated process. To start with, our core needs to be at least partially liquid, which fortunately is true. 